Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about pressure management between our speakers. Two channel, multiple channels. You know, speakers are an energy producing source. They're close to room boundary surfaces, walls, floors for sure, okay? So anytime you have that situation, you're going to have pockets of lower frequency modal pressure. You know, it doesn't fit in that pocket. It doesn't fit in that room. It doesn't fit in that dimension. That's the thing that you have to focus upon. So two channel, multiple channel areas between the speakers and alongside them in two channel, between them in two channel, between them in multiple channels. Those are pressure pockets behind them are pressure pockets. So a good exercise for you is take a pressure meter and call them decibel meters. That's okay. And measure your listing position. You know, get familiar with the average pressure level that you would listen to. There's all kinds of software available to do that. You can use, even use an iPad and an internal microphone if you want to. You don't even have to go to an external. I mean, they're close enough for, as they say, government work. It'll give you a good idea. It'll, it's not that accurate. It's probably off by 5 dB <laughs> in some cases, but that's another issue. So just to get a feel for the pressure that you listen at. You know, most people 80, 85 right in there for two channels. See how you fit in that mean. Stereophile Magazine did a review years back where they asked their audience, you know, to take measurements and it was around 83 was the average for two channel. So let's stay focused on that. And then take a reading behind the speaker and between the speakers. Compare it to your pressure reading at your listening position. It'll be 5 to 10 dB different, depending on location, depending on, you know, source and all of those variables. That's too big. It's too much of a variance. You can't have it. It's just distortion, big pockets of distortion. And you don't know any different because that's the way you think it's supposed to sound. It's not. You reduce that pressure, you won't believe the difference. Like we always say, you got to go after the fundamentals. Well, a lot of these pressure areas, pockets, if you will, are fundamental pressure, lower frequency pressure. So you, you place it in there, it's going to tighten it up. Wow, great, a great amount of definition, increase in low frequency definition. And that spreads throughout the whole sound stage. And the harmonics get brighter, cleaner. So it's a huge huge win. Pressure is the biggest issue. If you can get that managed, you know, you can mess around with other kind of things that you want, you know, wood and all of those surface areas for reflections. You can use diffusion and stuff for mids and highs. Mids and highs are not the issue. It's just low frequency pressure in room and it's everywhere. And as we start treating all of these areas and we have in our multiple channel room and our two channel room, you begin to hear the impact these areas have. And you're like, well, I, I just thought that's the way it sounded. No, it doesn't. It can sound way better if you eliminate the distortion. And modal pressure is a huge distortion. You just, I can't really explain how big it is, but when you hear it, it's one of those things like, oh my gosh, that is the difference, huge difference. So our cube technology was kind of created on that basis. It's on, the, it's on our website. Small ACDA 10 and ACDA 12 modules, 12, 12, 12, 40 pounds, stackable. Put them behind your speakers, between your speakers. You're going to hear huge differences. You're going to see 3 to 6 dB, depending on surface area coverage. 3 to 6 dB improvement in resolution below 100 hertz is huge. You'll immediately go money well spent. A little bit more than I wanted to spend, but money well spent when you hear it. You hear the difference. Speaker pressure management. Two channel, multiple channel. It's a source of energy. It creates its own problems, so to speak. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.